Now, when it comes to safety, let me get it very, very simple. In my practice, the only thing I use are products that have shown that and they have demonstrated they are quality ones and they are safe ones. So they're very good safety profiles. Because when it comes to fillers and hyaluronic acid, mainly they have different sorts of fillers and they have different grades of quality and they have different grades of purity. So I stick with the ones that are really already have proven that they are really good and they have very good safety uh, profiles. The skin boosters, usually they don't, as because they don't last as long and because they are less concentrated and less cross-linked, they tend to not to create any foreign reactions or inflammation. But they do retain some water. And because they are placed more superficial, they can give a bit more of swelling initially. So that's why I need to be able to manage them quite in a good way. But in terms of safety, they are very, very similar in terms of profile. The ones that, like the biorevitalization, that we are not using any cross-link hyaluronic acid, it's just biorevitalization, is just like mesoter is a mesotherapy technique that lasts a little bit longer. What happened with those is, they, because they are not cross-linked, they are less uh, prone to get any reactions or lumpiness or whatever. So that is not going to share. And with the skin boosters, you can have some, some small irregularities in the first 24 hours, but that goes away completely. And also depends on the technique, uh, how you use it. 